Right guys, welcome to uh, my first ever FIFA 13 video. This is the demo which came out yesterday and uh, I know everyone else is doing one of these but you know, might as well throw my two pence in there as well. Uh, doing This is just my first gameplay. I'm using the, uh, the match day system which uh, is where uh, player stats are kind of uploaded, not uploaded, updated as to uh, you know real life situations and squads are updated with uh, you know injuries and suspensions etc. So uh, they, I think this is uh, like that option is only going to be available in kickoff mode, though it won't be online, etc., when the full game comes out. But yeah, I'm going to be using that for this. So a few players have had their stats upgraded, and uh, just going to, as you uh, as this is loading up into the first game, you have got. I know we've seen other people's uh, videos like KSI and uh, Nepenthes, etc., from when they went to EA and uh, played the full version of the game. But there are these skill games in uh, in the arena and also from the main menu. Uh, there are eight in total. You've got uh, ground passes, penalties, free kicks, crossing, lob pass, dribbling, shooting, and advanced shooting. And uh, basically, it's just to help you improve your skills. There are uh, a bronze challenge, a silver challenge, a gold challenge, and then an overall skill challenge at the end. And you can compare scores, etc., with uh, your friends and online leaderboards and uh, stuff like that. So that's like a nice addition to the game. And uh, also, in addition to uh, a little addition to the game, is the, you see policemen and uh, cameramen there on the on the cutscene, just extra little, you know, extra little touches to make it feel that little bit more realistic, uh, which helps. You know, it's it's all about the uh, the all-round feel of the game, and it does it does feel a lot, not a lot nicer than FIFA 12. Like obviously, you can see graphically, graphically, there's not too much difference between this and last year's. Uh, it's more gameplay orientated rather than a full, you know, graphics overhaul, but. Uh, one of the uh, main changes they've made to uh, to last year's engine really is the uh, this new first touch control system. Obviously, last year uh, it felt players felt like the ball just kind of stuck to their feet, etc. You could ping passes about no matter uh, the speed they were going, the speed the ball was uh, played out, or the angle of the pass, etc. The ball just kind of gripped straight to their feet. Whereas this year um, they've altered the engine slightly, so they takes in to account all sorts of random situations and this goal here is kind of a perfect situ perfect situation perfect uh, example really of how that first touch engine is uh, taken into effect in this game obviously the ball's played in it's coming in at angle is quite slow but Yaya Torre's first touch actually sits the ball up nicely for him to be able to volley it into the back of the net and uh, it kind of all gels together in such a way that um, when players do take heavy touches or Miscontrol the ball. It feels, you know, it feels right in the situation. Like the ball will have come at them fast, or they'll have had a player on their shoulder hassling them, so that their, uh, you know, their concentration might not have been, might have been, uh, you know, they'd have been put off by having uh, pressure on the ball and themselves around them. And uh, it, it, that really does feel quite nice, actually. It's, it kind of slows the play down because you can't just throw passes all over the pitch. You have to slow down your build up and uh, think about where you're going to play it, when you're going to play it, who you're going to play it to and uh, the strength of the pass or shot or lob or through ball and uh, in addition to those uh, small changes they've made to the, the first touch and the control engine uh, they've also updated the uh, the physics engine as well so uh, players there are more animations um, here you'll see as well Tevez like the, they've altered the push-pull system like before you could run like the full, wen full length of the, of the pitch Pushing and pulling at players, and nothing would really happen. Whereas now, there's a there's a definite outcome each time. You, you see the uh, the defender pulls Tevez back, pushes him forward, then pulls him back to make sure that he doesn't get onto the end of the uh, of the long touch that he's tried to get in ahead of the keeper. And Manone is able to come out and pick the ball up. And uh, that happens quite a few times actually. It's and it never feels like you never feel like the game has cheated you out of a situation. Like when it happens, it happens in such a way that you can understand that yeah that genuinely will have happened it's not like none of the uh, the FIFA bullshit that used to go on last year and I know there was a lot of well a hell of a lot of frustration in the community last year with uh, you know FIFA feel, it feeling scripted etc but on obviously first impressions this is only the demo uh, a lot of things will have changed between now when this was coded and the new game but it does. It feels smoother. Like I know every year that you know people say, "Oh, it feels smoother." It feels a lot different to the previous game. It doesn't feel a lot, lot different. It feels feels more like a FIFA 12.5 rather than a 
a brand new FIFA 13. But that seems to be the uh, seems to be the trend at the minute with these annual releases of any sports game. Really, it's kind of they're too wary of completely overhauling the system. Like last year, obviously they took a big decision with the tactical defending, and this year they've brought in those two new changes and also another change here. Um, the uh, the attacking AI and the defending AI really is a lot more intelligent. Uh, if you see here, Jiru in the middle, he shuffles his run and tries to curve his run, find a little bit more space. Make sure he keeps himself on side. Obviously, unfortunately for him, he does miss the chance. But uh, it's really interesting to see the way that um, players run off each other now. Like before, it felt well in FIFA 12, it felt very static. Like you'd have the ball and you'd be looking about for a pass, and uh, the opposition would either contain, so that there was like a solid wall of players between you and uh, either another teammate or the goal, and. Uh, Everyone, like your players, would just kind of hover around you, not really make any off-the-ball runs. But so far this year, uh, it feels a lot more fluid. Like the, uh, you'll get players making good, especially if you change. You no, know, if you uh, mess with the D-pad, you can change from like attacking, ultra attacking, defending, balanced, etc. If you move that up to attacking, uh, your teammates will make uh, various runs, either to uh, open up space for you to run into, or a curved run around the defender to try and. Uh, draw a defender away so you can play a pass to another teammate or uh, again make those curved runs to make this make sure they stay on side so they can receive the ball and you'll even get players making uh, runs off as another teammate that doesn't have the ball so that they can maybe receive the ball once that person gets the ball so it's it's really quite in depth with the uh, the attacking eye and this is another uh, example here of the physics engine and the first touch controller obviously last year Milner might have just chested it down with his back to goal but uh, in this demo this year, he uh, you know he adjusts his body, he's able to take the ball uh, onto his left foot and get a shot off. Obviously misses it because Milner's an absolute donkey, but you know it's uh, it's impressive the way that they've been able to change it. So it does it does feel more I don't, and the term realistic does come up again and again and again. It's not it's not completely realistic. It's just slightly more realistic than last year, if that makes sense. Another couple of things that help with that realism factor is uh, the extra commentating options that are integrated into the the general commentary. So you get Jeff Shreves on the on the touchline talking about uh, in well in manager mode it will be uh, goals in other games or potential injuries or tran not transfers substitutions might be on the uh, about to come on for the opposition or yourself and uh, also Martin Tyler and Alan Smith were uh, yeah it is Alan Smith isn't it they um, they talk about uh, the fact that you've got players warming up on the touchline and that the opposition are about to make a change and you will see, I don't know whether it's in this gameplay but uh, in future videos you'll see um, you do actually get the substitutes warming up down the side of the pitch and it all just helps add to that all round increased realism factor which is uh, really really nicely done actually, they've not gone over the top they've just added a few tweaks, obviously it would have been nice if they'd done more overall because uh, it does feel, like I say, it does feel very much like FIFA 12.5, but they are all positive changes that have been made so far. I haven't been able to, after playing a few games, been able to find anything negative to, to say about the demo so far. I have got uh, a couple of ideas for videos to uh, put out with regards to the demo between now and the full release, so they'll be coming out hopefully within the next two weeks. Uh, kind of want to go a bit more in-depth with uh, each team and show highlights and uh, try and give an overall view as to how each team feels and what which players play well together and uh, which players seem to be you know game changers for each specific team so uh, I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks uh, I would like to know obviously in the comments if you could let me know for ideas that you might want to see when the full game releases for a series for obviously I would presume that I'll do a, a road to division one as uh, we did with FIFA 12 hopefully this time all the way through and get to division one and uh, uh, a road to glory and ultimate team. I think uh, I've seen in a few videos that ultimate team will be changing slightly. They've taken out the single match option, and uh, it's going to have online and offline leagues like the the head-to-head -head seasons mode. So um, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, that may help an RTG really with like an overall goal, an overall end goal, was to you know build a team and work your way up to Division One with that specific team. There are only going to be five divisions rather than ten. That there are in the normal head-to-head -head seasons mode so that will be interesting to see let me know if you'd like to see something like that 
and uh, manager mode as well. I'm I'm still unsure as to whether maybe do a manager mode series. If you might like to see something like that, then obviously let me know as well. And this just I uh, put in another replay here, so you can see the uh, the one touch football that we played there and Aguero's kind of with that first touch control system. It wasn't a smooth pass. He did manage to swivel his body and get it across, but it was. Uh, you know, it was scuffed, so it slowed it down. But obviously, Milner was able to get onto the end of it, rifle it into the bottom corner, and uh, that puts Tuna up towards the uh, the end of the game. But yeah, that's kind of kind of my initial thoughts after playing three or four games of uh, of the demo against the computer. I've been playing on world class, so you know the AI's enemy AI, enemy AI, the opposition AI has been uh, relatively tough to play against and quite realistic in the way that they approach the game in both an attacking and a defensive sense but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching if you could leave a like uh, that would be fantastic and uh, I will see you in uh, a future uh, demo video but yeah I'll catch you next time guys thanks